Okay, basically what I'm going to tell you what a lot of astronomers won't tell you and why I do not know because when they find something that's moving 300 times the normal rotation of our star, okay, the, what they found is not a pulsar, ladies and gentlemen, okay, because that thing that's rotating 300 times faster than the sun has not been officially by any astronomer said to be a neutron star small and extremely dense this thing is huge and i don't i don't know about saying dance on it what well, i know we know be i mean we're intelligent enough we know what dance means okay <clears throat> being very hard headed see that's what they mean when they try to talk bs between blue collar to white collar okay So, there's your frequency of history of the word, okay? So, just before the later 1990s on into 2000. So, that star that we know out there that I showed you a long time ago, that the, the ones over in Chile are the ones that basically, they've improved their telescope and looked up there and seen that, what we've seen and everything. So, let's go ahead and look what we've got at LASCO 3 and everything today. And more than likely, that should be, I believe, Venus, because when we go to the beacon, Yes, yeah, so that should be Venus because we know that that shot's from behind, okay? So we'll zoom in because we know that uh, 3 and the stuff that they're showing a lot more stars and overlay on 3 and showing uh, the CME that you see there. Wouldn't be the first time we see any CME on this shot, but this is where we don't get bunkitated by. So I apologize and we'll have to get... Uh, been having piracy issues with, more than likely, I can say Karasoff private citizen side and we love the military side so as you can see you can see me in a lot more brighter star and I wish I could blow up on this right now but right now somebody with supervisory control and data acquisition illegally but if they're using the private Kerasoft agency more than likely they can screw around but see I can't enlarge anything right now okay so we'll take care of that we'll find out what feature that they've filtered into a private computer private citizen computer to be able to not allow us to pump that up to 400%. Let's go to another website and see if I can pump up another shot of anything. Uh, let's go ahead. I've got this pumped up to 400% right here. So we're going to investigate here a little bit and see when did they decide to not let me pump up. And we go to 400% and we're taping. So now we will go ahead and I bet you this might work. Let's see if we get rid of that. And now can I pump up to 400%? Nope. So now Alaska has been overrun. So I basically suppose that they could probably do that government and wise. But as you've seen, you just seen that I have two screens. And yes, I am mirrored. You see, folks? So that's how supervisory control and data acquisition works, ladies and gentlemen. You see? They can control certain sites. Okay? They could probably do that to this one here, too, because basically this is at, I'm at Beacon. I'm at NASA SOHO site. Okay? But Something with the military decided probably to override Lasco 3 here, okay? So if I take a snapshot, which basically I don't have right now because basically I got mined on that. I haven't lost any pictures, but I've got mined on, I need to do, do a re-upload on, on that. So, because I didn't like the new snapshot that I got a hold of, which is basically a different little name, but it might be the same whole copyright infringement and all that stuff like that company. It just has a few more in case the young astronomers are watching out there laughing out, flipping loud, and now we're zoomed in. So, uh, who's the king of software override piracy bat butt blasters? Okay, and the kids hear that at school too, folks, so whatever. It's out there. Educate your kid if they don't know about anal cavitational searches at the military or anything. Uh, government could do it to anybody at any time in case you have illegal drugs on you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so you need to educate your kids to stay away from messing with drugs, I guess. So now more truth and everything, and then just everything spills over on the top of everything because the government's screwing around with someone with free speech, okay? And then little kids can get on the Internet and watch this stuff, and that is true, and kids have rights too, and so do parents. And yes, if a kid is dealing drugs, they need to get busted just like an adult. So anyway, now the law's got more problems. Okay. So now, 
we got some very interesting action blown up here, ladies and gentlemen, because basically we see some very much curving of light today with some of the, well, whatever, objects, because those objects exist, comets or whatever, or we're getting more eyes into V action, which we know V action exists in the electrical, and we'll blow this up to a, a thousand and take a look at that. Yes, we can override people screwing with our software, ladies and gentlemen, you just have to be computer illiterate or computer literate like me. And yes, oh, there's some people out there that's like, oh, you don't know nothing about computers. You know, yeah, well, you don't know nothing about Jack Diddley. So there, we see an electrical signature there, folks. And no, we didn't just find blowing up to a thousand a satellite that we did blow up and find the satellite from looking below Soho a while back. And if you watch my videos, and everybody knows it. Everybody knows that that all, that's pretty much all it could be. It's not no flipping UFO. And I appreciate anybody that finds UFO stuff because when you're looking at the sky, it's an unidentified flying object of something in space. And that's not actually true. Now, that should be Venus that we got there. So as you can see, there's not much around Venus. You can get a good look at if there's anything of the moons glistening around Venus or anything like a star or something like that. That's it right there, blown up a thousand. So there you go, an actual look from outer space. And we love Navy, Lasco, okay? Sorry, but I just know who runs it. The Navy runs Lasco. So, Stetchy, Navy, we love you. And we love all branches of the military, so it doesn't really matter. We love NASA, too. We just don't like the people that in Washington, D.C., and they really shouldn't have any say. It's a government tax paid for. So there's some very interesting stuff you can learn and find here every day on Beano Black and all these objects that are massive, ladies and gentlemen, because, once again, the Earth would be, and especially at this size, as you see the CME that we blow up and look at here in complete black and white. And there you go, you see some more of that black star action that's there. And something that looks a lot like uh, a constellation that's up there whipping around with this stuff here that looks a lot like Pisces. Because the idea that we know like Leonis and there's some other constellations that have that it looks like a cowboy's loop. It's a long straight of, of the constellations and then a loop and then there's a flopper and does a lot of action up there. So a lot of people will be faked into thinking that this is and everything that I do. Because when they go to that video that the guy pirated out from NASA and they see this. So you have some interesting planets right here, ladies and gentlemen, that we're getting a view of, okay? Uh, because we know that basically the only thing right now that should be the planet that we should be able to see, now the only thing other than that could, we could just sit there and, and go, okay, well then it's Mercury, okay? But we know that that is Venus, and we know that the only other thing that we could, should be able to see in that shot would be from the other side, from the other camera, and basically they got pissed off and locked up my Soho. So there's Supervisor Control and Data Acquisition, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, because it's a government site, more than likely, and... They can do that on that site. Okay, so we go back up, and we know that this was Mercury. I mean, it, we don't know. See, you do not know. And, these, and then there's another bright star there, okay? So we come back down, and we're going to just keep all this video on this one shot, because basically there's plenty to talk about here, because these are all huge planets. Between here and those two black dots there, coming all the way across Lasco. So, because we know that that's Venus for damn sure there, and we know that that's the sun blowing its ass off right here in this shot there. So, lots of interesting stuff. Lots of dark black star. I mean, basically black dark planet. Okay, putting off black light. Also one there. Those are not pencil marks. They're not screwing around with the photo from the Navy. So a lot of interesting stuff. And we have that V, that big planet right there that you can't miss. There's a big planet right there. And it's dark. Okay. So we have possibly d identified our, at least these dwarf stars because they are not bright. They are dark, 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 and dark, and above and towards because we know that right now that Venus is over towards Earth. And then you're going to have that CME coming in whenever. Okay? So, uh, dealing with uh, some stuff with software and maybe being able to distribute some videos more fast and more often. And then you have this other, and this is vast amounts in space, ladies and gentlemen, when they take these shots of the sun. So, all the way down to the left, you have all that interesting bunches of planets and everything there. And like I say, we're busting NASA's balls and everybody at call and everything an asteroid belt or an asteroid, okay? They need to come up with a lot more terms because we've just blown the pants off Pulsar.
okay? Yes. Their terminology is quite limited. Maybe they need some electricians, since we're finding electrical, as you see, IE right there in space. Maybe they need some electricians down there at NASA or just at home collecting a paycheck and astronomers and stuff getting flame and pissed right now and everything like that. We own the skies. No, you don't. You can name everything. You're not anything. You're not the king or czar of anything in space. You're just astronomers and astrologers. So the idea that people need to get together on because a lot of this stuff's getting found all at one flip in time and you haven't named it. So I guess all of a sudden NASA's going to own space and name everything what they want to name something. Yep, they can't. But they do, don't they? Okay. So all this stuff's out there and there's tons of names to be given to stuff. So yeah, so when we're looking at B, Mercury's supposed to be to the to the left. So it could be shooting upside down on that Navy shot. And we are seeing it up there. Because it would make sense that that would somehow be uh, Mercury. That's the other brighter, bigger object that was... Let me come back down here. We're going to waste a lot of video time being at 400%. I mean, up at 1,000. But we did see, we know that we see that electrical connection between some planets there. But we knew that we saw, I'm going to have to pop back to 400. I hope we don't get locked up with that. But we knew that we probably, yeah, it's more than likely we were thinking that this could be Mercury. But see, then that's the idea that then there's tons of other planets that are huge, you see. And then that's way over to the right. But it could be that this is because when they turn it around on when they show it to Sechi, they always show, this is the way Navy shows it. And then the arm is up and over there when they show it to you on Soho, which were idea that they don't like to let you know what planets look like because they don't want you to see and find all these other huge planets. And i.e., the video that's going to be hopefully uploading right now that I basically have showed you that the ideal, all the Kepler stuff that they found, they're starting to, we basically have forced them to admit to a bunch of stuff that's out there in space. So there's a broader view of all that, more than likely these dwarf stars that the people call them dwarf stars because they're like dead stars because it's, this is black, that's big, so if you want to call that the dwarf star or the baby blue kachina or whatever, I'm beginning to believe that there's a lot more than just certain ones out there, ladies and gentlemen. Mean, it makes sense with the humongous amount of stars that are in space and all that stuff. So take your pick, but the idea that it narrows down, that we know that that's going to give black light off, and that's going to give black light off or look dark and look black. So this might be some of the shadows that we are ending up seeing from the sun, i.e. this CME, to the right. And we know that we are over here by Venus, okay? in the solar system right now, okay? So more than likely, Mercury could be part of something of this stuff. It could be that, or it could be that. So otherwise, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of other tons of big stuff out there. Bam, bam, IE. And we've had this stuff blown up at 1,000 a little while ago. So straight off the cuff, data real fast. Later than this today, the 27th of 2012. And here we go. And we have that electrical that we know we have a connection between a couple planets there, which were very huge because even at the little anything at the end of that and end of that is bigger than Earth, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. And rolling down to the size of Venus, that shows up in the shot, gives you an idea that no matter what, because this stuff is way far out, would probably look bigger and brighter if it was closer. So this stuff is big, huge. Either that or they've been lying to us for years about the size of the sun because there's the sun, folks. And then we come down and we know that we've got Venus over here to the right. And Venus is just somewhat bigger than Earth. And I'm not even positive that Venus is bigger than Earth. Okay? But I do believe it's bigger. I think it's quite a bit bigger than Earth, but not that much bigger than Earth. Venus, also Mars and Mercury, I believe, because Jupiter is the biggest at like. Uh, it takes 11 of them to make this sun here, okay? So, and the sun's flaring its ass off, as you can see, live today, okay? January 27th. So no matter what, folks, be no black, busting the truth off everything. Because no matter what, Venus is more than likely, and let me go ahead and hit, hit it up and I'll get you an actual data. Because we know what we got over there. We know that that's Venus, okay? We know that this is Venus, and then I'll throw the data on Venus here at the end. Okay, so we're starting to discover the idea that we might have massive size discrepancies because that is smaller than Earth, Venus is, okay? So when we're looking at it on those shots, yes, depth perception and everything, folks, but Venus is double that from Earth and that far from the Sun. 
tomorrow or later.